If you guys need any FIFA coins, make sure you go and check out U7 Buy. Link will be down in the description below and use Jack54 at checkout for a discount. What's up guys and welcome to today's video. We have got the very first squad builder showdown on my channel of FIFA 21. And of course, we are going to be joined by the creator of the series. Andy, would you like to say hello, mate? Hello. So, um, are you uh, are you enjoying FIFA 21 at the moment, mate? Considering, well, last night was, uh, well, pretty much today was the release of uh, the early kind of access for the full game, uh, where you can play as much as you want. Um, obviously, you've been playing it a little bit longer than that. Um, but yeah, how are you enjoying it? I've been quite liking it, you know. It's decent, it's hard, and there's lots of goals, but I think I quite like that. I'd rather that than park the bus. So, early indications yeah. are, seems to be pretty good. I'm sure once yeah. we all start playing foot champs, we'll suddenly get discovered that it's incredibly broken and we'll just do, <laughs> just do my head in. But for now, it's good. I like it. Yeah, agreed. And uh, yeah, I got this wrong, uh, but the first week in league is not this weekend. It's the weekend after, which is obviously yeah. fantastic for everybody getting the game on like October, well, today and October 9th, when uh, they'll have enough time to kind of grind and get that then did rival points for it. Um, now we have filmed another squad builder showdown on Andy's channel. That was around Erling Haaland, uh, absolutely beastly card this year and just for his base cards. It kind of reminds me of the 84 group stage card, the Champions League one that he had last year, which was an absolute monster. Um, so yeah, go and check it out. We'll link down in the description below and also subscribe to Andy and all that good stuff. Now, uh, today's episode is going to be around Rodrigo. Obviously now moved into the Premier League and looks like the sweaty striker that everybody will, will be using this year. Um, four star skill moves. The weak foot is a little bit annoying, I must say, in th only three star. Uh, but he does have 91 pace, 79 shooting, 76 passing, 81 dribbling. Um, he costs just shy of 28,000 coins, but um, yeah, you might want to pick one up when maybe on October the 9th, potentially, when loads of people are going to be opening more packs. Um, but yeah. Finishing 80, I mean, it, it's a, it looks like a pretty decent card um, and hopefully will kind of fit the way the play the, the game plays. Um, but we have got to find ourselves formations first, mate. Um, what formation would you like to use? I'm going to try the formation I actually play when I'm try hardening in Div Rivals. So I'm going to go 4 one two, one, two, the second variation. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Uh, you can have that, mate. Uh, I got the well. I put down the four, three, two, one. So um, the formation I would like to use. I kind of want to try a different formation, to be honest. That one I haven't used. I've only used four, three, threes so far. And I instead am going to go for a bit of. I really don't know, actually. Uh, I'm actually. Do you know what? I'm going to go for a bit more of an. Okay, we're gonna go for four four one one. Interesting. Okay, you can have it. Lovely stuff. Uh, what, what did you put down? Four three one two. Four three one two. Ooh, okay. I haven't actually tried that yet as well, but that was my go-to formation for the past like three years. So uh, that's a bit bait for me to do that. <laughs> um, right. Uh, we will move in then to my left mid, right mid, and I guess your striker and. Come. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Let's do this. Let's move in to the very first elections then. Andy, mate, who would you like for your striker and cam spot? A striker. I am going to go for one of the best players in the Premier League. It's going to be none other than Richarlison. Okay. And the come, I'm going to go for Zayek. No, you're not. So, <clears throat> what? You put Zayek? <laughs> yeah. And I so almost put Richarlison down as well, but it's so obvious that I just swerved it. Mate. Uh, oh, could have gone Amos Rodriguez. Early. Yeah, you could have, to be fair. Oh, for God's sake. That's so annoying. I didn't put Richarlison because I just Oh, knew. not my first owner of Richarlison, Jack. <laughs> okay, so yeah, obviously I put Gabriel Jesus and Zayek. So. That's oh, your mental. You can remove Zayek. And uh, as it's my trump card, I will give you 
Let's give you a little bit of. Hmm. Well, do, do you want that? What link do you want? Do you want an Everton link? Do you want a Chelsea link? I'm not bothered, mate. I just picked a Premier League centre attacking mid. <laughs> okay, okay, got ya. Um, I will give you them. I'll give you Adrian in goal, mate. Probably Adrian makes a better outfield than no goalies, only. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Put Adrian at Cam, mate. Okay. Adrian is at Cam. Lovely stuff. Okay. Do you want to hear my guesses? Well, go my for players? it. Okay. So I'm obviously going to be doing my. my just doing my right mid and left mid. Yeah. My centre forward as well. Just right mid and left mid. Okay. So. Right midfield, we are going to be going for a bit of, a little bit risky one actually, Ferran Torres. And then on the left hand side, we're going to go for a bit of Ansu Fati. No you're not. Excuse me? No you're not. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who have you put it down then? Come I put Porto and Ansu Fati. Oh, for God's sake, man. Why? Because <laughs> he's in form and he's sick. What do you mean, why? Look at him. Oh. <laughs> okay, just... okay. For God's sake, man. <laughs> okay, yeah, who would you, who, who do you want me to put there? I've just fully whipped out the instant Uno reverse card there, haven't I? That was good. I'd, I'd definitely rather lose my left mid than my camp. I can't lie, but it's better than yeah. nothing. Um, do you want a Spanish La Liga player, Jack? Uh, yeah, go for it, mate. Okay. I, ooh, I don't know if to use my trump cards or not. Let me have a look what they've got that's just left mid. Because it is a bit, you could just ignore, completely ignore the left hand side of the pitch. Oh, the that boat. is true. Let me check left wing. They're, they've all got a bit of pace about them. Yeah, they do, to be fair. Joe, you know I'll give you Mario. Mario. Even though he's got 75 yeah. pace. Yeah. He's bronze, he's got 50. Got Shooting and passing and 60 odd dribbling, so I it's think we'll be great right. player, mate. What a player! What a player! All right, well, this has not been a great start for either of us. Um, hopefully, the uh, central uh, midfielders and my center forward can uh, be a little bit more joyous. Let's do it into the midfielders. Then, um, you went first last time, mate, so uh, I, I did will... indeed. Announce my players first. I've also got a set of forward included in this, guys, because it just works out with the way the formations we have. Um, so, hopefully, you didn't really take too much notice of the player that I was hyping up before we started this video. That's going to be Dries Mertens. What? At centre forward. And then, <laughs> we are going to partner him up with two Napoli players, just to be a little bit annoying. Fabian. And also, we are going to go for a bit of Zielinski as well, who actually looks like an absolute beast of a card uh, for an 80 red card, four star skill moves, and five star weak foot, and just the whole stats are pretty banging. So, yeah, going to whack him in the team. How am I meant to guess that, Jack? Well, that's the point, mate. <sighs> okay, fine. <laughs> who did you put down? Marcus Llorente. Yeah. Coutinho. Yeah. And Erdegaard. Oh. Tried to hone in you, your cam. Yeah. And put I a second you. cam guess for centre mid. But yeah, not a chance of ever guessing them. Unlucky. <sighs> okay. Right. Do you want to know what I want? Let's hear it, mate. Yes, please. Left centre mid. I am going for Koke. CDM. Okay. I'm going Spanish 
from the Prem. And we're going to go for Rodri. Yeah. And then right centre mid, I'm going to go for Gundawan. Get in the bin, man. Get in the bin. Oh, I put What's down Van, Van Der Beek, Madison, and Fred. Nice. It's not like not, not like you to hybrid it up a bit, mate. Take that back. <laughs> I have. I've retracted that statement. Um, okay. Well, we will then move in to the full box. I'm actually very hurt, Jack. Why is that? Very hurt that you'd insinuate that I'd never build a hybrid. So I'm going to continue my hybrid. Okay. With a little bit of Renan Lodi. On the left hand side. Interesting. Nice strong link to Koke. And on the right hand side, I was tempted to go even more hybridy just to spite you, but German right backs are a bit stinky, so I'm gonna go for Nelson Semedo, the new Wolves player. <laughs> the dirty double has happened! <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah. No. Red and Lodi. No. Nelson Savedo. Thank you very much. Good night. It's been nice knowing you all. There we are. Clear as day, mate. On the whiteboard. <laughs> oh, you are in trouble, Andy. You are in trouble. How on earth have I guessed that? I mean, Ren and Lodi was fairly obvious because I thought he was going to bait me. And Semedo, you know, just moved to the Prem. Why wouldn't you use him? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. Right. Bronze left backs then. Mm. Okay, you can have... Uh, Diego Pampin at left back. Diego Pampin. Good. Yeah, nice. And then for the right back spot. Uh, oh, they're all actually pretty flipping decent. That's annoying. But uh, I'll give you... Uh, no. That's annoying. Any right wing backs? Oh, uh, considering you wanted a Wolves player, mate. Uh, if you go right wing back, go to Rasmussen. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, I reckon he'd do a job for Liverpool the way you played against Philadelphia. <laughs> oh, he's getting spiteful now. <laughs> Just because Everton is sitting top of the league after four games. Got better defender than Trent, honey. Nah, not, not a chance, mate. Not a tra chance. Trent's the... Uh, isn't Trent the highest rated right back on the game? I think he might be actually here. Yeah. <laughs> you know. That's what I'm talking about. Let's, let me just double check that. I mean, yeah, he is the highest rated gold right back in the game then. Apart from Zanetti and Carlos Alberto. But, uh, yeah, I mean, 80 defending. Uh, is that more than any? It's probably more than any, any Everton player, isn't it? <laughs> Shut up. That's a lie, is what that is, mate. What's he got? <laughs> he should have higher attacking positioning than he's got defensive awareness. Wow. No, he probably should, to be fair. He's got 79 defensive awareness. And he's got... 76 attacking position. It's close, to be fair. It's close. <laughs> Him and Joe Go, where's mate? Match made in hell. Wow. You know, Premier League winners and Champions League winners the last two years. What have everything got? I've just signed a few players that are all going to leave them next season. We've back-to-back so. -back transfer window trophies, mate. <laughs> <laughs> True that. True that. Right here. All right, enough blabbering on then. We've literally uh, just retained the cup. <laughs> Actually, no, I would say Arsenal have maybe... Uh, Arsenal will come in with a clutch last night. Party? Mm. That's a banging, banging player uh, for them to sign. It's kind of what they needed as well in midfield. Um, whereas United are signing 
Well, Did you see United spent 30 mil on an 18 year old right wing? Yeah, I saw that. It's just that, right? That is just the definition. Ed of a Woodward panic must fight. have been sat at home after not being able to get Jaden Sancho drowning his tears in bottles of whiskey or whatever, and he's just texting yeah. random numbers to random football clubs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Uruguayan Sancho. Love to see it. The Love Uruguayan it. Falcao is just signed for them as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. Was... Oh, my God, yeah. I mean, Cavani will probably do a job, to be fair, but it's just, I, I don't really understand it. Um, Ibra went there, and yeah, he had his moments, but he wasn't, uh, he didn't really necessarily make that big of an impact for United, to be fair. I don't know, that whole club is just... A mess. A complete and utter mess. The problem um, with United is... Sorry for United fans, but... But it's United, yeah. The problem yeah. with United is the management aren't going to sack themselves and the no, owners aren't going to no. sack them if they're mm -hmm. constantly just making them money, yeah. running it like a business. So they're kind of screwed. Yeah, and it doesn't help the success that they've had in, I suppose, the modern era of, well, like the past 20 years or whatever. And so, I don't know, I just don't think it helps kind of like... Not necessarily like the ego of the club, but it's, I don't know. I don't There's going to become a point though as... where people are going to stop wanting to go to Manchester. I was thinking of this, right? Everton have I just think signed... they already are. I, don't th I think they already are. Do you reckon? Like that. Yeah, 100%. Everton have just signed Ben Godfrey. Now, I've got absolutely no idea how good Ben Godfrey is. I've never really watched Norwich or anything like that. I'm assuming that by the fact that Marcel Brands and Carlo Ancelotti wanted to buy him for 25 million, he must be quite good because they. Everton yeah. have made some stupid signings, and we are joking about transfer window trophy. But since Marcel Brands has come in, we have actually been like quite astute and signed good players. So I'd assume that yeah. he's actually he's like he's 22, isn't he? He's English. Mm -hmm. He's meant to be pretty good. He's got loads of potential, whatever. You would assume if United came in and offered the same amount of money, but crap loads more wages to Godfrey, he would go to United instead of Everton. That's not an unreasonable yeah. thing to think. So why didn't they just do that? I don't really get it. Like why spend? I know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think there's more of a. I think at the moment there's more of a vision at Everton than there is at United. I think United look like a club where, still even in a year or a year and a half's time, they're probably going to be, maybe slightly. But then, the well, definitely not where they want to be. But they were doing well at the back end of last season, I suppose. But it's just. They came, came top four, didn't they? But it just yeah. seems like a bit of a mess. Like I don't think I'm getting a bit carried away by saying Hammers is incredible. But I feel like if Hammers had gone to Man U, it'd be like another Di Maria situation rather than what he's actually yeah. doing at Evan. It's just weird, isn't it? I don't really care. Yeah. I mean, let us know, United fans, in the comments section below, how you feel. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of... Uh, Would you know, without someone else out, someone else out was trending on Twitter this morning, so yeah. I don't think they're very happy. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I would not be, like I said. But uh, yeah, let us know in the comment sections below. Anyway. I will uh, let you know my right back and left back and hopefully after that reaction that I gave, hopefully you haven't guessed either of mine. Um, so right back, I kind of want to go for Jao Cancelo, I kind of want to go for Bellerin, I kind of just want to box off this side of the team. I do have both sitting here. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to go for Jao Cancelo at right back. And then at left back, we are going to go for a bit of... Gaia. My, how the tables have turned. Please, no. Please, no. I wrote down Gaia and getting a beautiful, strong link to your fair aunt. I wrote Bellerin, unfortunately, Jackie. You can have one of them. <sighs> oh, for God's sake. There's, so, there's loads of good left backs as well in the uh, La Liga this year. I, was, I wanted like to put Jack and Cello, but I just thought you'd be too stingy. God, so why don't I just go with Berriche or Escudero or, you know, Alex oh. Moreno. There's so many good players. Furpo. Luis Castillo. Or Alberto Moreno. Maybe we shouldn't have gone for him, but... Oh, Adria Pedroza. He looks not bad. And Pedroza. Nah, uh, Luis right. Castillo, mate. Luis Castillo. Wait, wait where's that? Oh, 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 yeah, it's the bronze guy, isn't it? Yeah. Good stuff. Wait, where is he? I'm confused. Uh, he plays for Elche CF. They've just been promoted, so I've never heard of them before. He is 59 rated. He's a goalie. 
Oh yeah, you didn't use your trump your trump card, did you? Or did you? Nope. Oh no. Oh no. Is he Spanish? At least. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay, Luis Castillo is in the team. We will now move into that left hand side is looking very ropey, I must admit. <laughs> um Wow. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, we'll move into the centre backs and goalkeeper. Moving in then to the final selections. Who would you like, mate? Or do you want me okay. to go first? Going to go on the left hand side for a La Liga centre back. And I'm going to get one with loads of pace because we're playing against Rodrigo. I'm going to go Nacho Fernandez. It's got 78 pace. That's pretty bloody rapid, to be honest with you. I'm going to go okay. in goal. Four. Only just a walkout this year. David De Gea. Okay. And then I need either a strong link to Rasmussen, a strong link to Rodri. Or a Spanish Premier League centre back. Wolves is not looking likely. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Bolly. Oh, Den Donker's got 67 pace. He's their fastest song, but we're not going to go for him. I'll go to Man City. And I will get myself a bit of Nathan Ake. I hate you. I put down. Fernandinho, Felipe, and Neto. Nice. <laughs> ah, I was convinced then. I was convinced. Right. Okay. Well, for me, at the left centre-back spot, mate, we're going to go for a bit of, if it would love, to let me choose my players. Okay. Basically the best centre back I've used this year so far. I think he's an absolute monster. Felipe. At left centre back. Yeah. Right centre back. We're going to go for Fernandinho. And in goal, we're going to go for Neto. You've literally copied your own guesses. Yeah, because I thought it was such an incredible idea. Okay. <laughs> You can have them all then. Yes. Wait. I thought, before you tell me your guesses, I reckon you've probably put your eggs in like three different baskets. And How does Felipe have full? Oh, Neto, of course he does. Yeah, yeah I Neto have. The, the chem. Yeah. Yeah, I did put. What did you... I did Manolas, Militao, and Navas. Oh. I'm not sure about Fernandinho yeah, okay. at centre back, but he's very, and very I... good at playing the ball out. Yeah. I think he might be okay. I mean, wait, I've just oh my god, I've just learned right? after playing years and years of FIFA, Fernandinho's left-footed. No, he's right-footed, mate. It says he's left-footed on footed. <laughs> that might be his weak foot, like his preferred foot is right. Defo. Yeah, yeah, it says on here, yeah. Okay, that's. Right. I thought I'd gone absolutely bonkers. Apparently, it's so just it has gone dead. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, there we are, guys. There are our teams. Uh, yeah. I mean, I really wanted to go a little bit more hybridized in the centre backs and goalkeeper, but just because I wanted to throw Andy kind of off, I went back into the two leagues that I uh, had done initially on either side of the pitch. So, still a bit of a hybrid, still a Serie A Prem and uh, La Liga hybrid, but yeah, we'll move. And uh, at least we've got some. Uh, some bronze full backs to run at and a bit of a cam in the middle who's a Adrian so I'm sure he'll let me in some goals um so yeah let's dive into a game give us some score predictions in the comment section below let's do this good luck mate I'm gonna need it dirty <laughs> doubled and an Adrian yeah you've done that so often in the other game and it's so useful Goal. There we are, Richarlison banged it in straight away. What a player, mate. What a joke. <laughs> <laughs> La 
lovely stuff. I don't know why, whenever I play yet against other YouTubers in a video, I always play so much different to what I do in a like, game of Div Rivals. I do as well, like, I play a lot less boring when I'm playing in videos. Yeah. And then, like, I'll play against Tom, and he's just, like, passing the ball around to try to score tramp goals. I'm like, bro, I'm trying to score screamers and, like, do skill moves and stuff. This isn't for yeah. champs. But, yeah, I do still quite like to win. Oh, my God, that's not what I meant. Ooh, Valente, good tackle. Fernandinho. <clears throat> Out. Oh, my God. <gasps> I didn't even react. I didn't realize yes. and I didn't press shoot myself. Yes. I wasn't paying attention at all. No way. That was a sick tackle ref. Horrendous. That was stupid by me. That was a free goal. And I just didn't press shoot. <laughs> Why? <gasps> Go on. Uh, why did that not... Oh. As well, if. What? Oh my god, why does it keep doing that? Because you're holding sprint, mate. <laughs> oh no. Oh, well, for the first goal. That one. Oh my god. What? Yeah, it's kind of stupid. Oh my word. Okay, fantastic. Well, this is great, isn't it? All my players are probably going to be going. <laughs> oh my god! Pitch too well, mate. <laughs> oh my god! Wow! Really? Really? That was a good finish, but that was a weird through ball. That was a very weird through ball. Oh my god! I've got some work to do on this game, honestly. Like, why is my player just ran through? Were yeah, you controlling him, or did he just do that himself? He just done it himself. <laughs> so <Yeah>. now. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Come on. Oh, that's going to be half time, isn't it? Well, that looks things right. Well, that was an absolutely atrocious first half from me. I'm hoping then bronze fullbacks start to get some kind of uh, stamina loss. <laughs> uh, because, Jesus, man, I'm getting absolutely destroyed. I can't. I mean, yeah, I need to play this game quite a bit more, to be fair. Um, but yeah, fair play. I deserve to be three goals down. I mean, my defenders made some questionable defensive attempts but yeah 39 possession my word wow oh for god's sake please felipe please felipe please no what way have you got to that holy moly what a tackle oh my god Wow, okay, what a finish that was. Come on, Rodrigo. There we are, lad. He is left footed as well, isn't he? Mm hmm. Pretty sure. Not too shabby. Offside, no? Don't think so. No. Crying out loud, man. Oh, no. Oh, Alfredo's actually bagged it. What a guy. Alfredo, come on, lad. What a finish. <laughs> Mate, these fullbacks are absolutely dead on their feet now. Oh, my God. Oh! What a finish, Ferran Torres. My word. <laughs> Look at that. All right, it's on. Come on, boys. My fullbacks are knackers. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, my God. Oh, 
you can kick the ball like this, it's got to be really annoying for the opposition. Oh my god, what? You are Oh my god, he's me. passed it to himself? Come on, Richardson. Oh, you've done me. You've, that fair play, that was a great goal. That was a decent little dribble. Composure. Look at how many players on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh, I committed far too quickly there. Come on, man. Right. Well, there we are. That was a crazy game. Five three to you, mate. Yeah, that was mad. Uh, I think the only reason I got some goals in the end were probably because of my fullbacks. I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, good game in the end. But that does mean I've got two discards, which I am actually very, very worried about because I have some nice players in my team and I don't want to get rid of them. <laughs> Right. Oh dearie me. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Alright, let's move in to the discards then. Uh, let me get back on my squad screen. There we are. Okay, mate. Um, let me mix up this team. Okay, uh, far away, mate. Gonna go. Right centre mid. And right back. Right centre mid is Fernandinho, and right centre back is Felipe. Not so right centre back, got... right back. Yeah, no, sorry, right back is Felipe, and oh, okay. right centre mid is Fernandinho. Um, so yeah, you got both the uh, both the centre backs. Who was right centre back oh. that you actually actually said? Uh, Luis Castillo. So it would ah, have okay, been wishful Anthony. thinking from you, mate. <laughs> oh no, it would have been Gaia. Yeah. <laughs> so I've lost about 15k to be fair. That's what they both average out at um, combined. So yeah, that is going to be the end of the video. If you guys have enjoyed it, please be sure to smash a like. That was amazing. Go and check out the other video we've done on Andy's channel. That's a scrub of the showdown around Erling Haaland. Do not miss it. And uh, yeah, I'm sure there'll be lots more content from both of us in the very near future as well. Uh, thank you for coming on once again, mate. It's been good. And uh, yeah, we will catch you guys next time, probably for a seven minute stipulations. Seven Please. million stipulations. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs>